Hello everybody, a little video for you today, a bit of a mixture, I've got a small tool haul and a little bit of restoration for you to, to watch. I was quite pleased with the finished product so I hope you like it too. So uh, sit down, grab a beverage, I'm on the 3-in-1 uh, this morning, good for lubricating the joints, uh, but you can have a tea or a coffee if you prefer. So we'll, we'll start by seeing what rusty junk I've brought back two uh, sheet metal spanner clips which might help me sort in my uh, spanner drawer but it's probably not enough of them a nice screwdriver look at that isn't that beefy with the, the hex big flathead Clearly a, a paint stirrer. Sadly it's missing the striking cap, so I think a carriage bolt will probably make a nice replacement. It's probably not going to get used, so I could use a bit of brass or something. It might be quite tasty to look at. But there you go. Uh, another little hammer. This is a machinist made with replaceable faces so that's a, a nylon and we've got a um, brass that clean up lovely that's nice nice little whacker for when uh, for when um, for when Shirley's a bit too much a strange long six point span I thought gas valve but usually they're square so don't know what that is, but interesting. Now this, this is nice. A little engineer scribing blocker. Now that's a small one, usually they a fair bit bigger than that. It's just a little one from your surface plate for marking out. Isn't that lovely? So you just put it on your spray your layout fluid or a bit of sharpie and scribe across your steel and jobs are good and all for taking measurements if you had a, a dial indicator on it obviously not a surface plate um, what else did we get some of this is uh, leftover junk from last time a uh, machinist has made his own knife, probably on company time, that's what I like. A nice little girder. You can still see the original milling marks. It's got a bit of patina to it, that'll clean up nice, but it's also a King Dick one. Which will look nice in my drawers. The spring is retained much better on these than um, in the normal King Dick, so it's actually reasonably smooth, even though it's quite old and gummy. Ah, you like this? A big waffle face, though not much of the waffle left. S-wing hammer. Not bad for a couple of quid, isn't it? What one then? One of them run you new? It's huge. Mm, what else did I get? This um, little flathead King Dick socket, just to tasty little thing uh, handle off something not much use but can't help myself two pairs of tweezers forceps a bit rusty but I think these are uh, can you see made in England and Regine, is that French? No, Swiss, even better. And a, another pair of uh, these um, fit, I think the name is, yeah, fit pattern combination pliers with the tin snips and the usual 
and I've got another pair of these in slightly better nick but I thought they'd make a good resto or um, I could send them to someone who hasn't got a pair they're just an interesting pair of pliers haven't changed at all since they're made you can still buy them today which is nice an old pipe wrench uh, not a record which is usually what you find in England, this is a Walworth company made in USA. Walco pipe wrench pattern number 186, 2002, 14 inch. It's got a bit of gravity. It's screaming out for paint. I quite like the green. Um, two lad it used recently, but I don't know. Maybe a bit of purple. That seems to be my colour, doesn't it? And another pipe wrench, this one there, uh, Stilson, and would have had a wooden handle. So, if I'm feeling brave, I might make a new wooden handle. But that's unlikely. And the one of the highlights, I must admit, after uh, Scout Crafter's recent video about punches, happened to come across this. Uh, Roper Whitney Junior number 5 punch set and look at that now I opened the box and I thought oh one's missing one's missing but it was in the uh, the punch itself now these are used for punching sheet metal and by god they do a good job it's still got it's original screwdriver for adjusting changing the dies over and the original instruction and little exploded diagram care operation parts list you don't get that anymore that's nice nice little set handy tool to have Also made a small acquisition from our mate Ben, Tool Addict. Now, he has stuff off me, so I have stuff off him. It's a, a bit of to in and fro in. He wanted my uh, long pliers I got last time, so I said, oh, I kind of like that little ratchet. And he was like, no, not the little ratchet, not the one I use in all my pictures. I said, yeah, I kind of like that. So I've got that. <laughs> That'll look good in my draw. I am the ratchet man, as he says. So, that will do very nicely. Thank you, Ben. Now, the last couple of things are dotted about the shed, so I'll have to move you around a bit. Here are uh, two other things I've acquired. We've got a nice... Uh, old red plate. If I remember correctly, when I looked it up, it was around about the 30s. Um, you're not allowed this colour scheme uh, on modern cars in England, it has to be over a certain age. But well, that's quite cool, looks good. And a crown, which is army green background, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know if it's ex-military or something, but that's quite cool. Fills up a bit the shed wall. And there's another sign, just... Supplies, and there is the other side. Can you see that? Now that's a, a modern one. It has that over here? A reproduction. Some guy makes them in his shed, I think. Well, um, it's quite nice to look at. Right, I'll um, run the clips of the restoration and show you the finished product. I also forgot to mention this other small acquisition this is a uh, Drummond A type I believe um, not complete yet I've had some motor issues which involved me being an idiot and dropping the motor cracking the enclosure box and having to make a new one so that's slightly delayed me and then I've got some 
need to find a set of matching pulleys, but it all seems in reasonably nice nick. I like the tool holder on this, it's got one side for your, your boring bar and the other side for your, your flat tool steel so I think that's quite interesting. The good thing about the Drummonds is there's lots of parts readily available and not too expensive, we're not talking Myford money, it's just, it's actually affordable. So this should be running soon, I need to mount it properly to the bench. Um, but that's a nice bit of kit isn't it with the, the round body. I do like that. So once it's up and running I'll be sure to show that with you. Gotta love a bit of old cast iron. Hello everybody, I've got a quick restoration for you today. This was in my last tool haul, it's a grey from Canada 6 inch offset adjustable. Made in Canada. It's a bit stuck. Um, that I think is the end of the pin so that might be a bit difficult. These recesses are asking for paint, I think, but um, I don't know. There's some quite rough casting marks. But first, it needs a clean, so we'll get started with that. It's impressive what a, a simple clean can do. It didn't work, and now it does, obviously. I can't call that finished, I'll be called a, a patina boy. We can't have that. So it needs a bit of a bit of a clean. I can see remainders of black paint around here and here. But um yeah, I'll go and hit it on the wire brush and then go from there In the words of Scout Crafter, we're calling this project done. 
does it not look a bit better? This is uh, the grey of Canada adjustable. Now see this this ridge line out, I, I remove that because it didn't feel nice in my hand. It cleaned up quite nice. Sadly there's a, a big void here that I couldn't really do anything about. I did think about painting these but I liked the sort of dark forged look. So I, I left it as is. I'm quite pleased with that. It's got a bit of shine to it which is unlike the, most of my tools that I don't get round to but it's also kind of vague reflection so that's good for me it's just a nice little adjustable that isn't it six inch and keeps it preserved for another 50 years or so doesn't it right well i um hope you all enjoyed that video and i'll um catch you on the next one thanks for watching